So in this video, I'll be showing you the CrowdStrike issue workarounds. Um, the fix won't be easy for IT admins are still trying to use the initial workaround provided by CrowdStrike, which involves booting Windows systems into safe mode and deleting a system file. Now, if we go to their instructions here, uh, this is the system file that you'll end up deleting. And then after that, you'll go ahead and reboot the machine. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you a proof of concept using Windows 10 and 11. So I'm actually doing this on a Windows 11, but this works as, as well for a Windows 10. And let's get started. So let's say you're having an issue with just actually logging into Windows. What can you do? Well, there's something called the Windows Recovery Environment, WRE. And what you can do is you can actually go to this website and I'll go ahead and put it in the description. Um, but you go to this website, right? And it'll show you how to set up a Windows Recovery Environment USB. So what you do is you install this on a USB from the from Windows. And once you install it on this USB on, on a good computer, right? Then you take that USB over to the bad computer, you plug it in, you go into your BIOS settings, you ensure your BIOS settings is going to boot from that USB, right? And then once it boots from that USB, then when you start that machine up, it will give you this this option for the Windows 10 recovery and to troubleshoot it and you have advanced options to do exactly what I'm showing you in this video. Okay, so from the login screen, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold shift and then I'm gonna come down here and choose restart. And restart anyways. And so now what this will do is it'll allow me to go into the menu so that I can choose safe mode. I'm doing this on the ASUS laptop. If you try to enter safe mode or any of these special settings, or even try to delete the file um, in the steps, you may may require admin access. So you may have to give it your ID department if you're working for an enterprise. But if this is your personal computer, then you could probably just follow these steps and uh, you wouldn't have too many issues. All right, so next what we're gonna do is go ahead and go to troubleshoot. You can let go of shift key now. Troubleshoot, advanced options, safe mode, right? And then once it's in safe mode, what happens is it will start up, boot up with the least amount of um, drivers, software required to actually get Windows to start up, right? So it's running with a limited um, amount of software at initial startup. So that way, if you have issues with software, like in this case, you can go ahead and address those without that software uh, being an issue during the startup process. Okay, another option you have is the command prompt. You can also delete files from the command prompt. And many IT administrators should know how to uh, delete files from the command prompt. Uh, what I'll be showing you is the most simplest way of doing it, and that's using um, the special startup. So here we have the option to restart Windows. So click restart. And now we have to choose an option. So we will choose option four. So in order to choose option four, we'll just go ahead and click four. So I chose the number four. And now it should start up in safe mode. All right, so what I'll go ahead and do next is enter my password. All right, now you can see we've entered and it is in safe mode. So you don't even see a background picture, right? So what we can do next is go to the location of this file that's causing these issues and delete it. 
And if you're a system administrator or at IT admin, you may consider creating some type of script that will automatically do this uh, with your enterprise environment. But if I'm showing you the simplest way of doing it, uh, because a lot of people are watching this video, don't understand um, how to do that. But if you do understand how to do that, I would recommend uh, you maybe test that out and uh, do it. So here you can see that I'm going to, and I'll kind of zoom in here now. So let me go ahead and move the camera. Go ahead and zoom in. So that's File Explorer. If you don't know how to access File Explorer, uh, you'll see this file icon down here. So you click on that and then that brings up File Explorer. Now you wanna click on this PC because this PC has your C drive, your main drive. And then when you click on that, you can see I have um, some folders. We'll click on Windows, so I'll kind of zoom in a little bit. So if you're having trouble looking at this. All right, so we click Windows. And now that you're at Windows, and I'll zoom out a little bit, um, you're gonna want to access the System32 file. So the System32 file is usually protected and requires administrator password. A lot of times they group policies for restrict administrators. You have to be a domain administrator, or global administrator. So, you know, we'll, we'll try accessing it, but if you can't, just, just note that, okay. So you can see I have the system32 file right there and I'll double click it. And then next we're gonna click on the drivers file And so to do that, we'll just, um, we will just scroll down through this. I'm sorry, you have to bear with me because I don't, I'm using my fingers, I don't have a mouse um, on this. All right, so you can see I have the drivers folder there. Click on that. Next, you're gonna click on the CrowdStrike folder. And I actually don't have CrowdStrike installed. This is simply a proof of concept of what you would do to actually, um, you know, fix this issue. So you click on CrowdStrike, and then here, after you click on CrowdStrike, you can see the C50291, and you may have some other numbers after that, but it's gonna be a .sys file, right? So when you see this, all you need to do is just right, click on it, right click on it, and delete it. That's all you need to do. Boom, it's deleted. Once you do that, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna come down here, and then you're gonna restart. If you have Windows uh, 10, it's probably gonna be over here. This is Windows 11, by the way. Next, we'll go ahead and... All right, and now you can see I've booted up. Normally, the, the background is now showing up. I'm no longer in safe mode. 